Hi Cancer, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. So we're at Knight of Pentacles, definitely Earth sign. They're coming through, but someone who... Wow. Very work focused, maybe a Virgo specifically, but yeah, they're healing. Um, some of them, they're working on their finances, but this can be uh, physical, mental, or emotional health here as well. Very hardworking, dedicated individual, whoever's on your mind. If it's a new person, uh, I normally say King of Pentacles is the best king to get for a long-term uh, commitment, and they have their eye on you. This is someone who doesn't invest in a situation where they don't see long-term potential, and they feel the Ace of Pentacles for you. They're saying, I see that this it's a seed right now, right? But I feel like it can grow into something substantial. Some of them are wanting to spend money on you or gift you something. They seem to be distracted here as well. Um, and it's not by other options. That is not what I'm seeing here. Um, their toes, if we look at them, are pointed towards the Ace which they're wanting to offer you. But their head, this Nine of Swords, what is this about? I feel like this has to do with some other responsibilities they were had that were distracting them. Why is Nine of Swords in reverse here? There may have been a fear of commitment or if this person was, say they're someone from your past, they were non-committal. Queen of Swords. They've been really contemplating about the situation, really overthinking things. They were confused. So even if they had options, right? Um, you're the one they have their eyes on, is what I'm getting. Some of you, there can be a bitter X in the picture. It is a general reading. This person is very jealous, possessive when it comes to you as well. They're holding on to onto you tightly. They don't want you to let you go. Um, some of you, if you resonate with the queen of swords energy um you've cut this person out or you've you're establishing healthier boundaries here especially if this person's been in and out of your life they're still focused on you but they're also concerned about some financial matter here as well i don't feel like they're going out and getting attention from others they're very work focused or focused on themselves and if you have blocked them or cut them out, you're, you've gone silent, they're still looking at you. The king is turning around to look at the queen of swords. What action will this person take towards cancer? They haven't let go of you. They're still invested. But they're non-committal. What is this person's problem? Some of you, they may have um, come out of another relationship, right? And they've met you, so they feel like they're not quite ready to settle. They have it in them, but they're not there yet because they seem to be mourning something. And some of you, this can be a breakup between the both of you, right? And they're missing you, this fallout. So right now they're healing is what they're telling me. What action will this person take towards Cancer, Knight of Swords? Right now they're in their feelings, so I don't see much action from this person. They're holding back and missing, yearning and patiently waiting. I don't see them doing much. How is this person viewing cancer? How will they be viewing cancer? World. Someone they have unfinished business. They feel like it's not over cancer, but it's also not the right time. It almost gives me that feeling of star-crossed lovers. Um, very work-focused. Some of you may have met this person through work but I'm getting they also want to work on this situation, but they feel it's not the right time. Some of you, there's distance, so there may be external factors getting in the way um, here. How will Cancer be feeling about this person? This person's clinging to you, Cancer. 
How will Cancer be feeling about this person on their mind? Tower. There may have been some shocking event, news. Why the Tower? Two of Wands. There was some unexpected shakeup, which has you at a crossroad, right? Should I go left? Should I go right? I thought the situation was stable, but clearly not. So you have some important, significant decision that you need to make for yourself. Some of you have cut this person off, which is the tower moment. And some of you are choosing to go down a new path, new love here. Magician Ace of Cups, you're manifesting new love. So I see two people here, perhaps a past and a new. Four of Swords, Two of Cups. Clarify the Two of Wands. It's talking about a decision you'll have to make, Cancer. There is love here with whoever this person is, and they love you as well, but I'm not sure that situation, especially if they're already... Sometimes King of Pentacles can be someone who's already committed, so if it's a third-party situation, um, that could be why, where you're keeping your distance here with the Queen of Swords, right? Moon. It's a really, I see why you're torn here. There's a situation here that's not built on a solid foundation, but there's a lot of love, chemistry, right? On the other side, Right? If you leave this tower moment behind, we have the moon, which is the unknown. It's unknown territory. But it's something solid, something committed. So if you're going through a breakup, right, or you're cutting out some energy here, they're saying you will have to confront your fears and move forward. And there is stability on the other side. I'm seeing guards being up. You're very emotionally guarded to new um, suitors if, if you're keeping your options open. There's nothing wrong with that, especially if you've been through something difficult as a tower, right? It's usually, it's unsettling energy and it's usually uncomfortable because, you know, situations, people are being stripped away from us um, because they're no longer serving us. Right? They're hindering our growth and you need to move forward here with the Two of Wands. So a lot of you, I feel like you're leaving a situation behind and you're moving forward and there's someone new coming in with the Knight of Pentacles. Someone that's wanting to offer you commitment. You're manifesting new love here for a lot of you is what I'm getting. So I may be picking up on two energies, or it may be one energy. We have hoping, expecting, faith, manifesting, and we have distracted. This is this person's energy, whoever this King of Pentacles is. We have sidetracked, change, delays. There's delays here, Wheel of Fortune, but they seem to be distracted by some work situation. Or, you know, money may be tight here for them. We have Divine Masculine, Yang Masculine Energy. Yeah, one day, someday, somewhere, another time, not the right time, which we got here. It's not the lack of love or attraction here. But they have some things to take care of. Responsibilities is what is coming through. It's a very confusing reading. And possibilities. We have free-spirited adventure risks. 
Yeah, you have commitment here in your future. We have marriage promises, fidelity. Some of you, they're wanting you to explore your options here, right? Free-spirited. Take risks, calculated risks, and confront your fear of the unknown and their stability that lies ahead. Knight of Pentacles. Friends first, slow and steady. So there's nothing you have to fear here. You're manifesting stability is what is coming through. Am I picking up on new love? For some of you, I am. Maybe even someone you don't know. If you're completely single and you've released someone, I'm definitely picking up on someone new. Someone in your future that will want to take care of you and spend money on you. Gift giving may be a love language. We have luck. Wow. So if you feel like you've been down on your luck, you were cheated on, someone betrayed your trust, betrayal, there is some third party. They're saying the wheel is turning in your favor, especially when it comes to your love life. But also, I was feeling financial success here as well, if that is what you're concerned about. So some opportunity here. Financially, let's take that. Holding on, yeah. There's someone here that's wanting to walk out the door. Perhaps they weren't wanting to commit, right? And there was other people, multiple people on both of the cards, right? The imagery. And perhaps they were more so interested in a hookup, you know, fling, friends with benefits type energy. And this person's, yeah, they're walking out the door and she's clinging. If that is the case, they're wanting you to let go. Because there's something better here with luck. It's giving me one specific story for a lot of you. Where you've been through a breakup. Maybe it felt like unrequited love. You felt lonely. We have drought. Like you'll never find anyone. Um, perhaps even some self-worth issues came through. And... You're, you're healing, you're working on yourself, and there's something amazing. Some of you may have already met this person and you're communicating with them. There may be distance here. I see the telephone, the mail. A great conversation. Naivety, yeah, again, three people. Do you see that? It's telling the same story over and over again. She's waving goodbye. Who is this person? They're, they're, you know, they're rowing away here in the boat. There's someone standing behind her. Gender doesn't matter. Switch the roles. But you're letting go of one person, one energy. There's someone standing behind you. So don't give up hope. There's many fish in the sea possibilities. We need to keep exploring, putting ourselves out there. They're out there. Your person's out there. They're promising you. Nine of Pentacles. Stability. I feel this King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles is a new person. Some of you have met them, you're communicating with them, and others of you will be meeting them. As someone beautiful, who will only have eyes for you, is what I'm getting. And strong chemistry here. Sensuality. Your past person, there might be a fear of commitment or something. We have perspective as your advice, Cancer. What does a hawk see when it flies over your house? What will your current problems, conflicts, complaints look like when you're 80 years old and you gaze back on the timeline of your life? In this moment, you are being given the gift of clear perspective, of knowing that in the end, everything is going to be probably much better than okay. They're promising you, Knight of Pentacles. Think large enough and even big issues become small. Become an 80-year-old hawk and you're really onto something. It's that Sag Sagittarius energy, looking at the bigger picture, right? So a year or two years from now, whoever this crazy ex was, it probably won't matter. But if it's minor disagreements within an existing relationship, they're wanting you to move forward and let that go right if someone's done you wrong in the past easier said than done forgiveness will come with time as well and you know forgive this person for yourself because when you're holding on to that energy that resentment it's only harming you so if you remind yourself this it may be easier but yeah there's a <laughs> strong message there's two people here or something you're letting go of tower two of wands you're at a crossroads it's a difficult change but you will come out of this and you will 
land on your feet, Knight of Pentacles. So don't resist whatever this shakeup is with the tower, right? There's someone here. There's hope. There's stability standing behind you. That is what I have for you, Cancer. Take care of yourself. I will see you next week. Bye.